All right, who's ready for 13.2.7 FSD? If you're ready, I want you to uh, lift your hands up. For some reason, this never works. This FSD pedal release thingy. Yeah, I don't get it. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna put it in drive and then uh, see where it goes. FSD from a parking lot. We're gonna be going about nine miles, 8.9. And yeah, let's see how legit FSD 13.2.7 is nighttime driving in a parking lot cars coming leaving a circle k and going to another circle k so this is straight from a parking lot now guys remember we want to be off of our phones we want to be hands-free and that is why we have tesla fsd right guys so straight from a parking lot so pretty good so far i'm gonna merge onto oncoming traffic now that looks like a pothole, kind of scared. Ah, there goes my rim. All right, will it merge and get me killed? We will find out, we shall find out. So let's see, hey. all right, so far so good. It should merge now and it is, awesome. All right, so this should be an easy drive. Uh, I'm gonna be hitting a couple toll roads up and then we'll see how legit this experience is. And I really want you guys to be captivated, engaged, and uh, enlightened, because that's what this channel is about, really enlightening people to really find a derivative of where their understanding in life is. So here we go, about to merge. Why check my mirrors when I have it right here on the screen? Bam, there we go. Going about 189 miles an hour. Sorry, 70 miles an hour. And yeah, so far so good. Um, got the monitoring FSD lights on so you can see right there on the camera and then you got me so this is the future guys if Elon is correct about what he said we should be having full blown FSD cyber cab by uh, June of 2025 right here in Austin and the reason why he picked Austin is because individuals like me and you that are watching and creating content on this channel that is why so Keep watching, keep staying engaged, and we'll keep coming out with this new stuff. When CyberCab comes on board, was that a CyberCab? Okay, it's, never mind. It was a Nissan Altima. But anyway, when when CyberCab comes on board, it's going to be revolutionary, and um, yeah, it's going to be great. Because I was actually looking on buying another car, but if I just have to drive to work, I can leave this one at home, my wife, and we'll be set. No insurance, no registration, um, no car payment it's gonna be pretty sick so again just showcasing how well fsd works as you can see i'm hands-free on my phone of course um i think i have a robot optimus is holding the phone just to keep you guys in line on where and what it needs to be like but this is fsd straight up as is you can see i'm on the road no ai um 6 12 p.m and uh yeah so this is what we have to look forward to. Now I'll tell you this, if Porsche and Mercedes, especially Porsche, have you seen the new Porsche Macan electric? That thing is so sick, but fully loaded, it's like a hundred grand. I could drop 50, 60 Gs and get all the same features, especially on the new one, ventilated seats and everything. And um, I get FSD, with the Porsche I don't get FSD, so it's kind of whack, you know? And I'm a car fanatic, trust me. I love Porsche, I love the designs and everything. Um, I just wish they had the uh, FSD. Supposedly, there's a rumor they're going to integrate it and take over with um, subscription-based licensing FSD from uh, Tesla. But that's just a rumor. It's not a fact. I'm not a shareholder. So don't quote me. Um, but we shall see. I think if those companies come on board, we're basically going to get into this like Apple and Android scenario. It'll kind of be maybe like, I'm just speculating. It'll be like uh, Tesla and maybe Rivian. Those will be the top competitors. And other car manufacturers will still create cars, electric cars. But when it comes to full self driving, I feel like Tesla and maybe Rivian, again, just my opinion, are going to take majority share, of, majority of the market share. And if that's the case, I'm all for it. I love Rivian. I love Porsche. I love Mercedes. I just wish they had full self driving. If you're going to be paying, you know, six figures for a vehicle, you shouldn't really have to drive it, you know, 
car. We've got to merge right here. It's a little scary because people are drunk. But anyway, you shouldn't have to, to drive, you know? If I'm spending, you know, the EQS, I ran into a guy at the Tesla uh, supercharger right there at HEB. Oh, look, there's a cop. I wonder if he's going to pull me over. Hopefully not. Oh my gosh, he's looking at me. But anyway, it's going to merge. Should have merged a while ago. Oh, scary. Spooky. All right, I'm good. He hasn't seen me yet. But anyway, um, yeah, if you're going to have a $100,000 car, I don't care if I had air ride suspension, you know, adaptive cruise control and all that. That's nice. I, trust me, I know the Benzes are, are plush. I, I ain't complaining about them. But if you still have to drive yourself, it kind of takes away the uh, luxurious feature, if you ask me. It's like, hey, you pay six figures, you still have to drive, or you pay uh, 40, 50 grand, or six figures, you get the Model X or Cybertruck, whatever, but you don't have to drive. You know, you weigh it out, unless you're doing, I mean, I don't know anyone that drives 200 miles a day, like that's kind of weird, right? So the range is in a factor, unless you're doing road trips. Um, anything over four hours, most people are gonna fly. Maybe eight, maybe. We did do a trip from LA to Austin, but we did that during Christmas, so we could save money, because um, the flights were about $2,000. And then uh, if I wanted to fly into SNA, Santa Ana, it would be like, you know, six, eight hundred dollars more. So I'm like twenty five hundred just to get there. So I was like, nah, forget that. But anyway, this is FSD thirteen point two point seven, I believe. I already forgot the number because there's so many updates. But what other car gets you that excited to have an update on your vehicle? I think it's pretty awesome. I think it's pretty uh, implementatious. All right, so there's a cop. I just hope he doesn't look to his right because he's gonna arrest me. And he should because I'm technically a criminal. You know, I'm from LA. That's why I had to flee LA because of my background in uh, criminology. So hopefully it stays at this speed limit and I should be merging off right now. And I hope you guys like this because I just did two tolls. This cost me probably like, it's like a $6 video. I'm actually losing money doing this drive but anyway got coke zero right here nice aspartamine for the body is always good put your body in shock and it tells your body oh no oh shoot this is scary okay this is kinda ugh I hate this part ugh so scary oh man who's calling me I'm not that popular hold on real quick almost done with the ride got two minutes I'll call him back alright here we go oof ugh I always freak out when it gets close to cars. On the camera, it doesn't look close, but I feel like it's close. Just because, um, yeah, I break way ahead. So, whatever. Uh, all right, let's see, let's see. Another toll, there you go. It's probably like five bucks. Anyway, um, uh, all right. This floor seems pretty dry compared to earlier. Let me roll this out real quick. Uh, it's pretty cold still uh but anyway all right now it's gonna merge this this turn is pretty tight um i feel like it always is gonna hit the curb but it doesn't obviously so let's see how it does all right not bad it's scary when trucks come down you feel like you're gonna die you can get murdered alive all right now we're in the suburb area and suburb is a subsection of urban living so um, sometimes people think it's you're submerged in the urbanicity but I think it's just a different dialect of circumference all right so now we're crossing a bridge sometimes this bridge collapses so hopefully this time it doesn't but I feel like we're engaged oh look at we got a Volkswagen all right German got a Chevy I don't know what that is Little Honda in front of us, Tacoma. Ooh, ah, so that's not a pothole, that's a manhole. And I wish it avoided that because I know that that manhole all the time. But anyway, what I want to see is if 13.2.7 is going to pull me into this Circle K. Uh, shout out Circle K for sponsoring this video. They do about $100 million of ad revenue sent to me, but I don't get any of it. Anyway, and we're going to see if it pulls into Circle K and if it even parks. I think that'll be really cool. Um, so we'll see. So it should be merging right here. Hopefully I don't kill anyone because there's an apartment complex right here. All right, it's pulling in. All right, we made it. We're at Circle K. 
and see if it parks. Oh, shit. oh, it went that way. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. If it if it parks, I'm gonna be blown away. Like a con blown away. Let's see. Is it gonna park? Come on. No, it didn't park. Dang it. All right. Well, that's FSD. Um, wait, wait, wait. It's moving. Maybe it is. Let's see. Uh oh. Has a mind of its own. Now this part sucks because a lot of people reverse out really fast because they just want to kill someone. All right, still thinking, still thinking. Now, if it parks in a handicap, I'm going to laugh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Don't do that. You're going to hit that car. He picks the worst, tightest spot. Come on, dude. All right, so it's trying to figure it out. Doesn't look like it's going to work. There you go. So it arrived, and I'm parked behind a car, kind of blocking everyone. But anyway, that's uh, FSD. Let me know what you think. See you guys in the next one.